Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Back at you again with another video. This time I want to come to you and talk about credit scores. So, I mean, why are credit scores so important? Um, if you're trying to get a home, or you're trying to get a new car, new boat, you know, a, something that costs a lot of money, something that can't be just uh, bought, you know, by going into your savings account. Uh, nine times out of 10, you're gonna have to get uh, some kind of loan. And in order to get a loan, you have to have credit. You have to have good credit. Um, so I made this little chart today, you know, to talk about basically that. So um, let's get into it. The first thing you need to know is um, you have three credit reports, uh, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, right here. Those um, three credit reports are basically what make up your credit. And you get those three credit reports from your FICO score. And your FICO score is basically a score that's pulled from the three uh, credit uh, bureaus. So basically these three credit bureaus, they keep up with uh, data about you, you know, and from that data, your FICO score is uh, what you get. So the way they do that is um, <clears throat> they use basically this chart and they go by this chart and that's how they utilize uh, what your credit score is. and deem you credit worthiness or not so you have 30 percent amount owed. Uh, 30 percent is the amount that you owe so basically uh if you get a credit card or something and you have a uh, 10,000 credit limit and you've used 8,000 of the 10,000 that's your uh debt ratio that would show the amount you owe and if you're using 8,000 of the 10,000 and it's 30 percent of your credit of your fico score then your score would probably be pretty low next thing is your payment history so uh no matter if you have you know one or two credit cards or loans one thing that i always uh, tell people is to make sure that you pay your payments on time um the the better that your uh your uh, credit score is the more uh, things that you'll be able to get. And the only way to boost your credit score is by paying uh, your bills on time. And I know it's better said than done, but I feel like if you can't afford it, don't buy it. If you can't afford it and you wanna buy it on credit, make sure that you get the lowest interest rate possible. And what I mean by that is 3%, 2%, 4%, uh, no more than 5% and make sure that you can pay whatever you're uh, trying to get on time. And next is your credit mix. So this can be whether you have a, a credit card open, uh, a loan open, a car loan open, a mortgage. Um, you probably bought some furniture from a store and you got a loan for that. That's That 10% is your credit mix. And then the next is your length of credit history. And this one for me is a little tricky because if you go get, let's say you get a Christmas loan because a lot of credit unions, uh, they do Christmas loans. And I got one uh, this past year just because. But um, let's say that you got this, uh, this, this loan, right? And the loans that they usually give you are typically $1,000. $1,000 isn't that much money. So you get the loan. Well, they expect you to pay that loan for uh they expect you to pay that loan on time right but let's just say you want to pay it you want to go ahead and just pay it off you got the loan in december and they expect you to pay it off next december or they expect you to pay it off in um october they give you 10 months and you paying 105 uh a month um what would bill your credit is to just instead of paying off that loan is to just keep on sit that money to the side in a savings account or something you don't use and uh, let it automatically draft out and pay this off that will help build your credit instead of just getting the loan in December and then paying it off in January 
it would actually hurt your credit more by paying it off earlier. So uh, length of credit history is uh, basically what that what that's about. Lenders want to make sure that um, I mean, if they're giving you money, that they're going to make their interest on their money and they want to make sure that you can pay it on time. But they want to make sure that you don't pay it off too early. And if you do nine times out of 10, you'll get dinged. And a ne the next one is new credit. So this goes by how many accounts you have open. Uh, if you open a lot of accounts at once. So basically like when you're getting, when you're trying to get a house or a mortgage, I think you get a grace period of like uh, three to five uh, hard inquiries or three to five inquiries on your account, on your credit score that won't ding your credit score because they know that you're checking around and you're shopping trying to get the best mortgage rate or the best interest rate possible. And they know you're not gonna just go with the first bank you see that you'll probably try um, three or four banks so that's why they give you that but if you are the type of person where you're probably in college and you just got a credit card and then you max that out and then you go get another credit card or you go get another loan these are inquiries on your credit uh, on your credit and it really will bring down your credit score so that's basically it man that's in a nutshell 100% FICO score um, and let's move over to the credit score. So uh, you're probably here. Uh, you are here. I mean, a lot of people, I was uh, looking online earlier, and I think they said 37% of people are from uh, 700 to 750 or 7, 750 to 850. And the rest of the population is from 700 on down. That's like really bad, man. We need to move that up. So, I mean, if you're in this very bad column, it's no need to fret. You can always move up. But basically, I just wanted to show you this chart. Uh, 300 to 560 is very bad. 560 to 650 is bad. And 650 to 700 is fair. And 700 to 750 is good and 750 to 850 is excellent and basically this chart right here uh, these three credit reports your FICO score which is the uh, Fair Isaac Corporation Fair Isaac Corporation is that acronym basically the FICO score the credit score and experience TransUnion Equifax all of these equal out to be your one score so they basically average those three and that's what your one score is but uh, let me give you a little more information on why you want to uh, worry about your credit. A lot of people don't realize that uh, if you're going for a job nowadays, you know, um, a high paying salary job uh, or a salary job in a corporation, a lot of corporations will look at your credit score. They'll pull it. And I know the last two jobs that I worked at, they actually pulled my score. And I think a reason for this is to be uh, is just to see, you know, what type of person you are. You can tell a lot about a person uh, by their their credit score and, you know, um, how many accounts do they have open? Do they pay their bills on time? Are they a responsible person? Because if this person has 20 uh, cards open or or loans and credit cards open and he's late on payments all the time nine times out of ten he might not be a good employee he might not come to work on time and he might not get things done because he's not mature and he doesn't handle his business so that's one of the main reason they'll pull your uh, scores and uh, that's the same for you know getting a car or you know getting a house or uh, just getting a loan credit lenders want to make sure that your credit worthiness before they just up and give you um, credit. And uh, I pretty much fall into this range right here, the seven, 700 to 750. Uh, last year I was around 790 or 780, but I fell to the 700 to 750 range. And it's not because uh, of anything that you know went wrong with my uh, my payment history or my amounts owed is just the fact that you know making these videos I'm trying new things that I'll tell you about uh, in the up-and-coming videos of how to build your credit you know it's things that you can do to actually build your credit 
and uh, I've been doing those and you know they are in the up and coming videos I don't want to spoil any goodies right now but you know this is pretty much the video that I'm giving you the first video talking about credit man I know this is a uh, a highly anticipated video and a lot of people have questions so I mean if you have questions feel free to you know leave them in the comments and uh, like this video share this video and subscribe to the channel and hopefully this uh, information was valuable to you guys uh, I know a lot of people didn't even know about uh, experience Equifax and TransUnion they just figured they would go on Credit Karma and see a score and you know that's their score but you people don't realize the breakdown of how to get this score and if you have this chart and you're able to see your score and things that you have open you're able to basically break down break down this chart and match this with the things that you have and see what are you lacking at because a lot of people will say okay well I do have a lot of credit cards and I do have, you know, a lot of things that I'm paying on, but uh, why is my, my, uh, why is my credit score not high? Well, you know what? Maybe your uh, age of credit history is the problem. Maybe you're just getting stuff and you're paying it off in a year. Like these credit lenders like to see you have a long term track record, like four or five years of something that you're paying on and you're paying on time. So not just, uh, you have a thousand dollar loan and you're paying it off and you paid it off in six months that doesn't really show uh, a age of credit and you know if you're the type of person that you're paying everything off on time but you're steady getting new credit new credit cards then you're getting these hard inquiries if you're getting three and four credit cards a month or you're getting three credit cards every two months and you're trying to pay pay uh pay one of them off and then go get another one that can also affect your uh, credit and then like i was saying earlier if you have you know a ten thousand dollar credit limit and your credit uh is i mean your uh, amount is at eight thousand and you only have two thousand left that shows your debt ratio and that that pretty much plays a really big part in your uh credit score so the real two big things that i would suggest is watch the amount that you owe on stuff and make sure that you always pay your payments on time and another one that will creep up on you is uh the amount of credit uh amount of hard inquiries that you have on your account i mean don't really worry about the credit mix and don't really worry about the length of credit history it's nothing that you can do about that if you're getting you know just a regular loan if you're getting a car loan or a mortgage you want to kind of try to draw, uh, draw that out and make it last. I mean, I know a lot of people say, well, it's better to pay it. Go ahead and pay it off, which is true. But um, if it's not hurting you, I would suggest putting that money, if you have it, in a separate account and just letting them, let them take it out every month. I mean, you're still, you're still paying it. It's still going to get paid off. You're just building your credit at the same time. But definitely watch the amount you owe and your payment history. Those are things that uh, can really can ex uh, affect your score. But um, that's that's about it on the end of the video. Hopefully you'll get from here to here. Uh, I know it seems hard, but you know you just gotta buckle down. It's 2018. It's time for us to get on our stuff, you know, and get out of get out of this column right here. This right here is not where we need to be. We need to see everybody here. So um, that's it. Peace. What's up, YouTube? I go by the name of Carlos Brown. And if you found this information helpful, what I would like you to do is like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'll be posting videos every